Howdy, my imaginary friends. It's comment show time. Hmm, comment show. Indeed. Here's the video that I'll be reviewing the comments on, so click here if you haven't seen it yet. All right, let's see what you all had to say. Can I print out a girlfriend? I made a thing. You guys totally get me. Heartbreak. You should have made a nut. Well, I did, but it ended up looking like this which isn't bad, but I wanted to make a better version of it before I ended up posting it online. On eBay, you can buy an extruder for like $30. If you can find an extruder and a hot end and filament for less than the price of a 3D printing pen, then by all means, go that route. And if you wanted to take a hot glue gun and retrofit an extruder onto it, it could be a little bit tricky, but you're free to go that route as well. And if you're successful in either one of those two objectives, please let me know and I'll post it to my website. In wad edis pu saw t fi woes stenemak et ni eb tenemak sit delau. No idea. Could you use a relay to switch on the 3D pen and not a transistor? Yeah, a relay would work too. The only reason I used a transistor is because I have a ton of them, and the circuit requires so little current that a relay would actually be overkill. Well, considering you'd buy a new desktop power supply, two to three CD-ROM drives, an Arduino, and several hours of trying to piece it together, I think it would slightly inflate the cost. Really? In this day and age, you still have to buy old CD-ROM drives and an old PC power supply? Try asking a local school or business for old computers, because they upgrade computers every couple years, and they tend to just scrap their old ones. Or you could go dumpster diving at a local college or apartment complexes, or even try Goodwill or a local thrift shop. Basically, if you can't find free CD-ROM drives and a PC power supply, then this project really isn't worth doing. But you should be able to find them for free, depending on what country you live in. And if we want to move the base instead of the printer pin? How I set this project up is I mounted the z-axis to the x-axis, which moves it side to side and up and down. But you could mount the z-axis to the y-axis and then mount the platform on top of the z-axis. And that will move it back and forth and up and down as a platform. So that should work for you. Just tinker around with it. Half of the words you say I don't even know, but for some reason it's still interesting to watch. I apologize for bestowing compunctions and germane to my inadequate parlance. Add to it a burning laser that you can extract from the DVD driver and add the circuit to control it. That would be cool. That would be cool. And if I can get it to work, that would be next week's video. So hopefully you all will see how I do that next week. All right, thanks very much for all the comments. And if you'd like to support my show, please feel free to go to tinkernut.com donate. And I will see you guys next week.